Hey guys, uh, this is a very different video from what I'm used to doing, but I feel the need to ask the community this uh, from both um, YouTube and Magic Expression, and that is when it comes to celebrities adopting children overseas. Um, the reason why I'm bringing it up, uh, there's a lot of bitterness to a lot of people that I have known. Uh, they discussed it, that the only reason why these celebrities um, adopt from other countries like Africa or other countries that are pretty much resource deprived is to give uh, cred to, to their resume. They like, okay, we're helping these people out, so uh, it creates the attention of the media as well as uh, uh, other people who was around it around Hollywood. And um, at first, I'm like, that's eh, not really true. They're free to adopt uh, whoever they feel to adopt as long as they're eligible to be good parents and provide for that child. I really don't care less. At the same time, it does make me wonder a little bit um, of the children who are in the United States or living in uh, foster care or even for more some in, in group homes, uh, orphanage if you want to call it that. Uh, I like to just call it group homes because it's is more better suited but um and these kids grow up throughout most of their child in these group homes with uh with no one even giving a thought of adopting them in fact uh, when i was growing up um being put in the group homes like boys town or st vincent's services was not a good thing many people had very very harsh um, opinions on children in shelters. They don't consider them having problems at home, having abusive problems where they can't go back home. You know, the, they don't consider the fact that their parents may have died and the only place we'll take them is the, is the shelters. The first thing that comes into a lot of people's minds is criminals. Oh, these guys are trouble kids. They're going to be criminals if they're no good. They're animals. And believe me, someone who has um, seen the system um, from the inside can tell you that's what most people actually thought. Um, people actually fight against having group homes of any kind living in a neighborhood because they are concerned of safety issues. And uh, they don't want that kind of issue to be dealt with in the uh in the neighborhood it's, all, it's the nice neighborhood clean neighborhood why are you bringing these people and bring them somewhere else always bring them somewhere else we don't want to deal with that um it leaves a lot of these a lot of these um group homes as well as uh, a lot of the a lot of the agency who tries to help these children in a very bad predicament to the point where they got to prove themselves that they're that they're trying that these guys are not as vile and as criminal as um, they was labeled, but they're all decent human beings that des that deserve a chance just like everybody else. Um, I wish to say that has changed. Um, I really do, but the reality is it hasn't. Um, it hasn't changed not one bit. There are still people who believe that group homes are people with children who are nothing more than criminals. And you can point it out uh, being in movies or not being well educated or informed about what um, Boys Town, um, St. Vincent Services or all the other places that help children really, really do. Um, they only go by movies and other people's point of views uh, that they don't do the research themselves and find out what these agencies are. But in any case, um, these celebrities, um, many people feel that they're not doing these, um, these agencies any favors. Yeah, there are some who recognize them and actually do support them through donations and, uh, and you know, charity events. But when it comes to adopting a child, they always go outside of the United States. Never within. They never really adopt inside. I very rarely hear a case where you hear um, a major star uh, walk into Boy and said, I want to adopt him as my son. You rarely ever hear that. Uh, you would think you do, but you rarely hear that. And I'm wondering, is that because the media won't cover it? Um, or is it just something that I'm not really much paying attention to? Because to be honest, when you hear Madonna, she's always adopting in other countries. When you hear uh, Angelina Jolie, she's adopting to other countries. I'm not saying that, that they're doing a bad thing. I'm actually happy that they're taking these kids in and giving them a chance at life that otherwise they would never have given. Um, in the circumstance they were and where they used to live at though so don't think I'm being cruel to that but it does raise the question I do want to ask the community themselves about this as well because it is something that uh, that a lot of people do have bitter anger towards the celebrity source uh, for adopting outside the United States um, so do you think it's a big deal do you think it's not 
Do you think that uh, it really doesn't matter, or do you think they should really try and adopt children um, within the country and in, in, within our own borders um, and give them a chance of life that they don't ever had? I like to know what your opinion on. There's no right, no wrong answer. I really do like to hear you guys' uh, thoughts on this, and be honest about it. Don't you know just just write down just because you just uh, feel like writing them down. Be honest about it. Give your own opinion, um, and I will pretty much comment back on it. But until then, J77. Um, you guys take care, be safe, and enjoy the rest of your evening.